Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. You're watching Protec. It's time to review the new Pixis OS 7.2.2. I was using the stock Nothing OS 2.6 and it's been long time of 7 months. We didn't review my most favorite custom ROM that is Pixis OS. It's a first stable build and in the new series of Pixis OS developers had introduced lots of new features. Actually, I had installed the Pixis OS 7.2.2 but developer already made available the latest 7.3.3 build but the major changes are made from the old 7.2.2 so today we are going to install the new Pixis OS 7.2 and 14 on nothing phone 1 and we will review all the changes we will also mention the details of the new Pixis OS 7.3 in comparison with this old build so watch this video till the end now with the further ado let's get started it's a new Let's quickly discuss how to install this ROM. If you are using any other custom ROM or the stock nothing OS, then your device bootloader must be unlocked and the USB debugging must be enabled. Power up the device using the volume up plus power button combo. Long press the volume down and power button to boot your device into the passboot. Now connect it to the PC. Now go to the folder where you downloaded the full ROM zip file. Remember I have given only the fastboot flashable zip here. You can also use the recovery flashable zip files. Now in the same folder, press shift key of keyboard plus right click of your mouse. Then choose open PowerShell window from the drop down menu. Then type fastboot devices in the CMD. Once device get detected, then type fastboot update and drag the ROM zip file in the CMD. Then hit enter. While flashing, your device will boot to this fastboot D mode screen. Once flashing gets done, you will get this message to format your data. Then choose S yes and tap Reboot to System. Remember, Pixis OS team has introduced the new incremental update system. So, if you are using the Pixis OS 7.3.2, then to upgrade into the Pixis OS 7.3.3, you just need to download the small package of Pixis OS 7.3.3 and do the ADB side loading of the update via Pixis OS recovery. And there is no need of wiping your data later. So, our device booted into the new Pixis OS 7.2. Let's check out its about device details and we will also confirm details of the new latest build version 7.3. So I installed the Pixis OS version 7.2.2. It's an Android 14 based stable build. If you install the Pixis OS 7.3.3, it's also same like 7.2 but it has the latest QPR3 source base and it is based on the latest nothing OS version 2.5.5. Security patch of this update is of May 2024, while new build has the latest August 2024 security patches. Kanna version is same for the both the builds is 5.4.274 and is built with the latest Clang tool chain 17. Remember the new Pixis OS kernel supports the kernel SU and this 7.2 version didn't support the kernel SU. Build date of this ROM is of 13th May 2024 while latest build is of August 2024. So definitely I recommend you to upgrade your device to the latest Pixis OS 7.3.3. The first new change you will find is the new battery health in the about phone and the battery health option. So you can now confirm how is your battery it is good or bad without downloading any third party application to test your battery health. Under the battery option, now gauge the Pixel Devices Inspired Adaptive Charging Control for your device. You can able to set the customized time for the charging on and off timer or you can directly limit the charging at the desired charging level, whatever you want. Developers added some new QS panel ties like OT update, mobile data switcher if you are using the two SIMs and the data synchronization. Cinematic wallpaper is a new feature which will add the different wallpapers on the home screen and they will change on the daily basis. For that we need to download the complete set of wallpaper for each specific theme from the wallpaper and style application. Next feature added by the developer is the new windows synchronization to connect your device with the windows PC. Using the barcode to access your android phone messages, apps, notification on your windows PC. Next developer added the clone wrap feature in the settings. By using this, you can clone any user or the system apps and they will be available under the work profile section of the app drawer. 
Another feature added by the developer is timeout feature for the both the Bluetooth and the Wi-Fi connectivity. So if you forget to switch off the Wi-Fi or Bluetooth, it can automatically get turned off after desired timeout we have chosen. We also guessed some new lock screen wallpapers in the wallpaper and style setting. These lock screens are already available for lots of custom ROM, but they are newly introduced in the Pixis OS first time. We can also able to change its color and size in the lock screen. Now we guess the inbuilt ad blocker in the ROM will find this under the security and the privacy setting. The next most important feature is the new incremental update system. It's only available for the Pixis OS 7.3 versions. Remember to upgrade to the incremental OTA, you must be on the latest build of update like if you are on the 7.3.2, then only you will get the 7.3.3 incremental update. You will not able to upgrade directly to the 7.3.3 from the 7.2.2. Next, I will provide the new magic eraser feature in the Google Photos application. First, you need to update your photos app from the Play Store and then you will get this option under the edit setting. So these are all the new features of the new Pixis OS stable version 7.2.2 and 7.3.3. If you ask me about what are the bugs related to the latest and the old 7.2 version, then the common issue I am facing from the long time is the self-reported pictures are not getting saved in the gallery, even after we are able to click the pictures in the camera application. We still can't able to use the Glyph interface as a flashlight during the video recording. The next bug I found is for the all the glyph interface notification and the ringtone setting. We didn't guess the glow up of the glyph light when you check the presets for the notification and the ringtones under the glyph interface setting. Except these bugs I didn't found anything special issue. So if you want the genes of pixel devices with some extra features you can definitely go with the Pixis OS which I already recommended in lots of my review videos. So that's it for today guys, hope you liked my work, then please do like and share this video, subscribe to the channel, press the bell icon for the notifications of our upcoming content for nothing per one. Thanks for watching, see you next time, take care, bye bye.